Uh, so I saw a, uh, a story that was really fascinating. It was like 800 or 1,000 words in the Washington Post today about Camilla Parker Bowles, you know, the... Hmm. Uh, the woman that Prince Charles was, I'm trying to be really good here and be nice. The woman that Prince Charles was seeing behind Princess Diana's back, you know, because she was such a skank. Uh, anyway, um, Camilla, she sent the press a message yesterday. <laughs> she was standing there in their living room or the drawing room, or the calling room, or whatever, the room that was with the fireplace and the couches and things. And um, uh, <laughs> they took some pictures in front of the press, and then <laughs> she, as, as Trump turned back, she turned to the press and winked. And she was like, mm, I'm so naughty. And uh, the Washington Post said, what did Camilla's wink mean? What was she telling us with that wink as though something is going down? Oh, they were so randy yesterday in England. It was crazy. So I, uh, 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 what I thought I would do today is uh, uh, just speak to the Washington Post directly and and tell them here's what i i think the duchess of york or wherever she's from uh here's what i think she was saying hey press <laughs> we're going to be rather naughty and i'm winking at you um and because what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to telegraph something uh rather nasty because <laughs> i just think uh, Donald Trump is just, he's a Neanderthal. And uh, so I'm going to wink at you and, uh, to, to signal to you that, oh my gosh, I think he's a Neanderthal. And I know that you are so nasty yourself uh, that you will understand this nasty wink because I'm nasty and naughty. Oh, spank me, Charles, spank me. I'm just saying, I think that's what she may have been saying. And the I, she knows that the press loves anybody being nasty to... Oh, did I, did I, that am word I again. using the word nasty? You are using that word. Oh, my goodness. That Donald Trump called that wonderful Meghan Markle. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, we were having blood pudding the other day and we were just laughing well we weren't laughing we're not out loud at least that's so improper we were we were chortling a, a little like this <laughs> when we devised this plan for me to wink at the press <laughs> <laughs> i wake up every day just on the edge of my seat, trying yes. to get my arms around what activities and actions these people that I care nothing about will do today. Uh, I mean, I am so, so intricately interested uh, in this group of people that we fought a war to escape and what they're doing today. I, I wonder, I'm so interested. I, I'm so well, glad I'm, the coverage I'm is so glad so to high. hear that, um, Mr. Crumbum. Mm. Um, I'm <laughs> so glad to hear that because uh, we are so far above you. Um, we know that people are, are vermin, really. Um, more, uh, the more of the virus of the planet. Uh, and <laughs> we know that because... We are so plugged in to what's going on. You know, I was I was telling a friend of mine uh, who who someone that works for them in the household um, was talking about some place called a a grocery store, uh, and they were uh, they were saying something about paper or plastic. And I said, I don't want paper or plastic. I would like meat or vegetables or something that would be uh, refined on my plate. Paper or plastic. Oh, what these people eat nowadays. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we have to stop them from eating because they're destroying the planet. Well, of course they are. They're eating plastic. <laughs> <laughs>